always uh, wanted to, to just be a great player. When I go on, when I step on court, you know I'm gonna fight, and when I go off the court, you know I'm like a regular 15 year old. This is the perfect time to text message your friends, right here. And it's hard when you see her on the court because she's playing such a high level of tennis. You forget, you know, when dessert comes along, you know, she gets excited, lights up like it's, uh, you know, it's the best thing in the world. Is that beautiful? This is one thing in the world we have to have sometimes. I can't stop. I love to travel, I love to see new places in the world. It's, an, it's a great fun, you know, I don't think every 15 year old gets to experience that, and I'm very lucky to. Message received, you see? <laughs> From my friend, Laura. <laughs> I like chicken. The small thing can make you happy and it's uh, help you a lot in the tennis game. I think the back end is a world class shot. I can guarantee you that by the time this girl is 16, 17 years old, her back end is going to be phenomenal. She's a young girl in age, but she's probably uh, three, four, five years ahead of most people. In fact, her work ethics now equal those of the best professionals on the road. One of the unique things about her dad is he's no, he doesn't think he's a know-it-all. He just wants to get his daughter around greatness. Um, and he'll do anything to do that. So he does that here with Nick, who's been a great advisor to her career. And he felt like Robert Lansdorff was somebody that can help her. And he went out to see him at 11 years old and it's been magic, they have magic on. on the court. Harder, that's not hard. Yeah, hard job. It's a great to have somebody who has experience, start work with the young kids. Sampras was nine or eleven, the Lindsay was nine years old girl. From the first step, this was an unbelievable, unbelievable relationship. <laughs> such a, ch <laughs> such a child. <laughs> Whenever I'm here, you know, I always feel like I have a rhythm, and that's just something that he gives me and no one else can. You know, it doesn't work the same if my dad takes 500 balls and gets a basket and feeds me balls. He's totally different. Brother gave her consistency and power. Consistency, feeling like she can go for the shot with closing in her eyes. And it gave her a huge amount of confidence when she go and play against bigger and stronger players. She's far more competitive than Pete was, for example. Pete was never competitive, really, you know, he's always hiding it. So, Maria has all the ingredients that you like to see in a student. And the relationship works, I think, is because we know how to kind of get along. And not many people can get along that day. So, you know, I think that's kind of good. So do I rub it every day? No. Oh, so how is it going to bring me luck? It brings you luck. <laughs> the face. Oh, when is it starting? <laughs> I love to go to death. I mean, she just, it, it, probably because she thinks I'm funny, so that helps, you know? <laughs> Leave my bag alone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who hey. thought he carries in his hey. bag? She's a money player. You put money on the line and boy, this chick can just start uh, playing. <laughs> This game is called mini tennis. Ten, baby, ten, ten. Maria does not do too much uh, loving and praise. You don't. She knows 
exactly what she does on here. I never, never had a favorite tennis, but I never imagined to be Graf. I never imagined to be Williams. I really believed in, in myself when I was young. I... She has no fear. And she played Indian Wells for the first time. And she went out there and she played the first match. And man, she just banged that ball, you know, no fear. And then she played Celis. Of course, Celis was just too good for her. But still, Maria was not what they call just, just choking or getting scared. Oh my God, here I am. It didn't bother her. Martina Ingus came and trained here with Nick uh, a few years ago for a couple weeks with her mother. And one day she decided that she would hit with all the young 10, 11, 12 year old girls at the time. And afterwards, all the girls were just kind of awestruck until they got to Maria. And she said, Maria, what'd you think? And Maria looked at Nick and said, I hope Martina's still playing when I turn 16. <laughs>
her. But I think it would be a shame if she became really a symbol of, of, of sex or whatever it may be. I think she's going to have far more to offer the world than just the way she looks. With tennis is first, second, third, and fourth, and medias and photo shoots are maybe, you know, 10, 12 down the road. We get a lot of requests for obviously maybe 10, 15 requests a week, and we turn down 99% of everything. Um, but, you know, when something good comes along and she's excited about it and wants to do it, we do it. So nice to have you here. Yeah, Welcome. thank you. We're happy to be here. This is Lindsay. Lindsy, this is Maria. Hi. Hi. How are you? You feel better? This is Joel. He looks like he's a little shy today. <laughs> Hi, Joel. Say hello. Alright, you want me to sign it? Say yes, please. Oh, I hope you feel better. Give me a five. Yeah? Good job. <laughs> Is that your toy? Yeah? Can I have it? Just remember me, right? Yeah? What do I do with this? <laughs> Bye. I never had a role model in my life. I never looked up to anyone except my parents. I'm convinced that her dad will not leave one stone unturned to make sure that Maria Sharapova reaches her potential. The situation was so bad in Russia. It basically it wasn't Russia, it was the USSR. And 91, it was broken, it was a mess, and it was no chance, no money, nothing. My mom was always with me, she always tried, you know, I didn't go to kindergarten, I was always with her, so I was always under her control. My dad always worked and tried to find money for us, you know. She had moved from Russia to Florida when she was very young and was looking for a place to train. And we saw her, met her, and offered a scholarship. She was just that outstanding at the time. But first two years, it was really tough. What we get through, oh, it's, it's really, really tough. And why we got through, because she's tough. Everything that has happened there, I think, is paying off here, you know. So I think the, the Russian background has helped me definitely. She really has always had her dad by her side, and it's an important fact in her life in the tennis, and the dad really understands how she ticks. Um, and it's tough on her sometimes, but the love and when they're off the court and they're laughing and the, and the times that I spend with them off the court, I'm, I always tell them they'd be a great TV show because they're so fun together and a lot of you know laughing and a lot of love there. Maria's mother says nothing. She's a beautiful lady who says thank you. She's ultra polite. She doesn't want to be out in the limelight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, you know, is always there for her off the court doing her studies. Maria is very into studying and her education and learning all sorts of different languages and the mom takes on that role. And it's a good little yin-yang that they have that allows Maria to be so special. Every time, you know, I see something that my parents do, I respect it so much because they have put it in my life. Without them, I wouldn't have been here. I am walking to the academy. This is a little uh, passageway from my house. <laughs> There's my dad. <laughs> Say hi. Because <laughs> you got no satisfaction. <laughs> we are nearing the, the, the pool, the cafeteria where everyone hangs out. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> So this is my room. Luckily I don't have my last name because it would be too long for the door. But when you come in, it's all nice. Wow, look at this. Okay, let me tell you more about myself because I'm very into candles and aromatherapy and relaxing and stuff. So whenever you come here, the first thing you'll see is probably a candle. I like to paint. Just painted this for my wall. 
And I'm very modern, I'm in everything modern, room, modern, house. This is a really wild painting, but it, um, it deserves a spot on my wall. What else is there to show you? I'm a very big stamp collector, and as you may see, all of this on the bed is stamps. Albums and albums of stamps. You see Maria stamps, that was my first album. I have a lot of um, American stamps, I have Russian stamps, I have French stamps. So whenever I go to a different country, I have different, um, different variety, and that's great because I always try to find something new. I have very different stamps on here, and they're very old, and my uncle and my mom collected them, and now they passed it on to me. So, you know, it's a very old album, as you can see. Look who this is. Well, this guy came from France. Um, he's not real, of course, but this is a little... Oh, this is so, 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 so cute. And I won him when I got to the finals, and uh, I was part of the trophy presentation. This is the Wall of Fame. It really brings back really great memories. So, and this is my tag for the Australian Open. This is last year at the US Open. Wait, was that 2000? Yeah, it was 2001. I played the Junior US Open. I'm gonna go somewhere right now, so I just wanted to show you my hat. But I'll, I'll see you later, I guess, sometime. Okay, toodles! Even she was like 13 years old, the girl, she was the smallest and skinniest the girl. Now she get a little taller, a little stronger maybe. Last year. It's hard because it's hard on your body, you know, your body grows, but your bones, you know, your legs just can't take so much. Still growing, your legs getting longer, your arm getting longer, sometimes you don't know where is your body, where is your legs, where is your head. So she grew quickly. So when you grow quickly, sometimes you lose that, that agility of the quickness on the court. You have to develop it. You have to get strong. You have to get strong in the legs. Uh, you have to get strong in the shoulders. Maria Sharapova accepts what has to be done. And at this particular time, she has her own personal trainer. That was the trainer for Michael Che. This is my coach, Ken Matsuda. <laughs> <laughs> slowly, uh, not very quickly, but slowly want to build a stamina and strength up because there's something that you just can't force, you know. And uh, she's coming along real well. Quick runner, hard work. Bring it all the way up. There you go. I played my match, yeah. my back. Because you know when I'm trying, I go well. And it's the first thing that starts, you know, to like get sore. So I think it's weak. <laughs> if you're going to be a champion, hey, no one knows what you're doing. And now you're looking at Serena. Serena, I'm tired. This is so hard. You can't do that. You got to keep this. Nice and relaxed, and, and no one knows what you're doing. We're gonna do three sprints, and then uh, when she's dead tired, can she sprint? That's the whole idea we're trying to find out now. It's metal as much as physical, and that when you're dead tired, you want to be able to finish. It always reminds me when you're in the third set, you know how tough it is to saw the third. And this, uh, this stuff can help me. Feels good watching the TV, huh? <laughs> watching me suffer. And now be aware of how your body's feeling. Notice the places where you're holding tension. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Yoga has uh, brought me in great shape, I think. It really makes me feel wonderful after the workout. It feels like I just uh, did a workout and I feel so relaxed. I just never, never feel like I'm tired after. I get so much energy from it.
you know, bring that leg up. It also makes me concentrate better when I'm when I'm playing. Like, it gives me better focus and definitely, definitely great for your body and for your soul. And I have a great time doing it. It's hard work, but you know I love it. I love doing it. And if I wouldn't have been here, I would have been in Russia sitting, you know, with my friend watching Monica Sellers play on TV against someone else. She just need, takes time to get physically stronger, no rush, be patient, be healthy and happy. I sincerely believe that Maria Sharapova uh, will make not only a good player, a top 20 player, she has the potential to be one of the very best. I love being here with help and I love uh, playing tennis the way that I do and trying to become a better person and you know that's all part of my, my life and I absolutely love it. I wouldn't want to do anything else right now.